So in this lesson, we should un. So, okay. Good morning, students. Welcome back to our channel. And today's video will be a new topic titled "Propaganda Techniques: Analyzing Intention of Words and Expression." So the same with the previous discussions we've had. Uh, we will be starting off our lesson with the set of objectives or question that we will be answering in today's lesson. So we'll start with the first objective, which is answering what is propaganda. So in this lesson, we should understand and we should be able to define what is propaganda. Second is where is propaganda seen? So where are they commonly seen? Asa na to sila usually makitan? Next is who uses propaganda? Who are the people, uh, professionals who uses propaganda? And we also have what's the goal of propaganda? And lastly, we should be able to know what are the propaganda techniques or devices. So those are our objectives or the questions that we should be able to answer after today's lesson. So we'll start with the first one, which is what is a propaganda? So a propaganda is any persuasive technique, whether in print or electronic media, whose purpose is to influence your opinions, emotions, and attitudes. Another is it tells only the side the author wants the audience to know. So, ingon ani siya ang propaganda. Ingon siya, any persuasive technique daw that can influence our opinion, emotions, and attitude. So, uh, that's basically the goal of propaganda. So, it influences us to make decisions and to make decisions in our lives when it comes to, for example, purchasing items or buying items online uh, or even in physical stores um, through propaganda, may influence nila ang ato ang decision to purchase an item or not. So that's just an example. And again, it tells only the side of the author, the, the side the author wants the audience to no. Okay. Good. So next is we have it appeals to emotions rather than the intellect and it benefits the person or organization using the propaganda. So it says here it only appeals to emotions rather than the intellect. Why man? Kay, kay nang, ang propaganda man good. Its goal is uh, really not to state facts or not really to um, list down facts of that specific service or that specific product. But their goal is to uh, touch someone's emotions. And through through this, they can influence us to uh, avail the services they offer or purchase the product they offer. And again, at the end of the day, their goal is to sell the product, to sell the product, to sell the service, or convince someone. So um, the goal of the propaganda is for them to benefit from it. Okay. So next, where can we see propagandas? So uh, there are actually two ways of where we can see propagandas. One is through print media and another is through electronic media. Print media are through newspapers, magazines, books, billboards, etc. So Maunisha usually makita nato and we can physically touch. So again, both we can see and we can physically touch touch another is electronic media which is the most common one that we use nowadays especially in 2021 or 2020 up until 2021 due to the pandemic so here are we have the so, uh, social media movies television videotapes documentary files etc so i think um the gandhi gayo o uh, information or propagandas available through social media right now. So be careful, everyone, because propagandas can 
sometimes be true and can sometimes be false as well so majority of them are sometimes misleading so we need to uh, filter out the, the, the reason why we're discussing this is for us to understand what propaganda is how it works and for uh, for us to for, for us, kung makasugat na ta o propaganda, we'd know if this propaganda is true or not. Or if it's probably just used to influence you to avail of a service. It's probably something you don't need or whatnot. Okay? So next is we have who uses propaganda. So these are the people who usually use propaganda. First is we have business owners. Second, we have uh, media people. Third, advertisers. Uh, fourth, politicians. And fifth one is usually everyone, you and me. Everyone uses propaganda in their own way, on their own ways. So, uh, how man? How can we use propaganda, or how do we use propaganda in our own way? So, for example, lang ha. Um, if, for example, you wanted to purchase an item in Shopee, so you saw an you saw an item in Shopee that you want your mom to purchase, So what you did is you laid out some um, compelling, <laughs> compelling research about that said product, and that research is aimed to convince your mother to agree into purchasing that shoppy item so that is already considered a propaganda aiming to benefit you and to influence your audience which is in this case your mother okay so diba nice kayo siya ang propaganda okay so next guys is what is the goal of a propaganda so uh to put it simply, the goal of a propaganda is to mold opinion or behavior to support a cause without concern for the interest or benefit of the audience. So, um, the again, the goal of the propaganda is to benefit the organization or the person making that propaganda. So, even though they are telling you that it is for you, but at the end of the day, it's still... It, it is still for them. Okay. They will the ones who will benefit from it. Right? So okay. So again, that is the goal of propaganda. Now, since we already defined what a propaganda is, who uses propaganda, where can we see propaganda, and what's the goal of propaganda, we can now proceed to the propaganda techniques. So there are varied propaganda devices or techniques that can influence you to make judgments. These are commonly used in advertisements, texts, passages, and or messages that you have watched, read, or heard. So, Manisha, again, okay, diba, I, I've said, makita na to siya in either print media or electronic media. So, I'm sure you've already seen a propaganda where you've seen it, watched it, read it, or heard it. So, it, it, it is a very common uh, common scenario in our end that we see propaganda. The ones in television, the ones in social media. Sometimes TikTok, uh, TikTok videos are promoting something. So, that's already a propaganda. And sometimes uh, uh, YouTube videos are aimed uh, to convince you to do something or to... Uh, convince you to support someone. So, that's already considered a propaganda. So, here's the first technique or device. Uh, it, the, here's the first <laughs> propaganda technique or device. So, we have name calling. So, name calling, this technique or device consists of giving a bad name to a product, person, group, idea, or event. The implication is that we shouldn't be interested in the other product. Another is that it seeks to make us form a judgment to reject and condemn without examining the evidence. And lastly, it is basically slamming the competition. So what does this mean? This, when you say name calling, it's another term for bullying or kanang mag 
mag make a ka og name um to de uh, to derogate that person's uh value or ingon anam but um in this uh, in this manner it somehow uh works the same because what uh what you do when you do uh, when you use name calling is you uh bully that uh, that that com uh, that other product na competitor ni mo so for example ha na si uh, si student A and si student B so gusto man si student A nga siya moy maganahan nga student sa mga teachers so what that what student A did is um name called or bullied well not really bullied but muragisiraan niya iyahang competition which is si student B so mana siya nga student A ah uh, mana siya student B man good miss is koan is blah 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 and i am blah 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 so kanang um he is or, he, or student A is devaluing um student B and upping up his value so ingon ana siya ang purpose sa name calling so here are a few examples of name calling so uh, here's a sentence example so tastes our taste our original roasted chicken unlike other roasted chickens which is which use chemicals in preparing their products our chickens are roasted using our secret and natural spices and ingredients so diba so sa tolra kayo ang iyahang pag name call sa other product right ingon siya ang 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 chicken daw sa uban nga competitors uses chemicals in preparing in their products while their chicken uses natural spices so <laughs> gina ko ani gina promote niya yang self and at the same time gina ko niya gina daot niya ang other iyahang mga competitors para paliton ang iyahang product and murag ma kuan ma bati ang pagtanaw sa mga consumers sa, sa iyahang mga competitors so that's how name calling works okay next another is a picture example so we have this uh, ad that was posted by Burger King. So here they are comparing the Big Mac, which is from McDonald's, and Whopper from Burger King. And then there's a message on the right side stating Big Mac seems more like a medium. So they're comparing the size. And ingun ani sila ka kanang explicit in terms of advertising ilahag yung i ibutang ang name like here ningon yun siya big mac <laughs> big mac amazing kayo diba so uh that's how name calling works um in order for you to look good in order for you to look good you need uh kailangan pa nimong dauton ang imuhang other competitors Okay, their example, uh, this example is a video uh, from iPhone. So let's watch the video. Here. So again, that's a video coming from iPhone. So basically what they're saying, they did not state a specific competitor's name, but Basically, what they're saying is that any other phones have a really, really slow performance compared to their phone who has really, really fast um, performance. So that's how they're uh, ha that's how explicit their advertisements are in uh, in their country and as well as for their products. So uh, let's have another video example. This one is from Burger King. <laughs> Yeah. 
there. And again, that's the video coming from Burger King. So, <laughs> di ba grabe kayo yung ilahang mga adver- advertisements? Um, liman kag... <laughs> ilahag yung gi... Koan, gi... Um, here, they did not specifically say McDonald's, but um, it's obviously, um, looking at the previous example I gave you, it's obviously McDonald's, and it's their uh, Big Mac burger. So, bag <laughs> They really went out of their way and um ingon ana sila ka koan ka competitive in terms of advertising so who grabe gid way of name calling uh name calling na propaganda in their country and for their products so yeah so again that is name calling so uh what you need to remember for name calling is um ilahang gina daot ang ilahang competitors kay para munindot ang pagtanaw sa ilaha sa mga consumers. So that's how name calling works. So next, let's move on to the next or to the second uh, technique in propaganda or propaganda device. We have the glittering generalities. So uh, glittering generalities is a technique the wherein the pro- propagandist uses some attractive or impressive word or ideas which misled the people. It also seeks to make us approve and accept without examining the evidence. So again, the goal of a propaganda is to influence your emotions that would eventually um, influence your decision into purchasing or buying something or enrolling into a service or not. So um, again, the goal the goal of propaganda is not to state facts, but again, to influence your emotion. So Maoni, the banning on seeks to make us approve and accept without examining the evidence. Same with the name calling sad. So even though kanang ginadaot nila ang ilahang other competitors, medyo, medyo maapektuhan dahil or some people would really be influenced be, uh, from, uh, would be influenced um, be, because of that specific ad. Nga naman, it's because ilahang, ilahang emotions sa ilang ginapalihok, not their intellect. They did not after watching the video, some people do not do their own research and would really just um, base their decision sa ilahang natanawan nga video. Okay, so um, again, what is glittering generalities? Ingon ko siya kanang these are ad or these are propaganda wherein they use big powerful words to describe their products and then wala, some some words does not even um, relate to their product but why is it there but nganong include mo sila sa ilahang propaganda it sometimes it's really just for the purpose ka, okay big word ka you see ya and it's really catchy and um, it's popular it's trending so some people would buy it and then would um, would subscribe to it and would purchase that item or would enroll in that service so here's an example for glittering generalities so uh, here's a paragraph um air Phil- air philippines <laughs> pina pina ko anta pina um pina ad good so Air Philippines, the spirit of the Filipino, is the greatest airline ever in this century. It is powered by the latest technology, technology offering exquisite comfort and satisfaction for frequent and regular flyers. Diba? Ingon pa siya, pinaka-greatest airline ever in this century. Amazing. So that's their own claim. And then, a pipe spirit of the Filipino, powered by the latest technology offering exquisite comfort, satisfaction. Oh, diba? So, they use a powerful uh, word that sometimes do not relate to the service they offer, just so they can catch the attention of the consumers. So, because of this, number one or the best na airline in the Philippines for this century. So, Oh my! For the for the one hundred years, sila gud ang number one and sila gud ang greatest nga airline. I don't think so. But again, this is not stating facts, but merely influencing the emotions that would eventually uh, influence your decision in uh, purchasing or enrolling into a service. 
So next uh, is a picture example. So money chef, Mac Cafe, creamy, dreamy, icy, chocolatey. Diba? <laughs> it's nothing. Sometimes it does not even make sense. Like for example, creamy, yeah, we can understand. Icy, yep, we can understand. Chocolatey, yes, we can understand. But dreamy, how is that or how can we relate that to a coffee? Or a mocha, diba? So sometimes words do not uh, entirely relate to the product they are offering, but it sometimes makes sense. Ito um, no, ano dani then ano dani mo palit ayon ko bi kay ganahan kay ko ganahan kay ko ingon ani ako ang inom or ingon ana. So um, again, this is how uh, the people in the marketing in the marketing area uh, uses propaganda to sell their products. Again, this is called, uh, this is an example of what uh, glittering generalities looks like. So uh, we have another example, which is a video example of general generalities. Uh, this video uh, came from a video we find ways. Mga sila nagagamit po mga big words to describe the service they offer. So here we go. In a world where big numbers count, what counts the most is one word, you. Game changers, forward thinkers, problem solvers. We welcome different kinds of you. Different sizes, different identities, different experiences. Together, we'll be different. Together, we'll create a difference. Be part of the team that finds ways. Do join BDO. Okay, so again, that video came from BDO. We find ways. So, there. If you notice sa ilahang video, gina gina ginadagko gid nila ilaha mga fonts sa ilaha mga words they maximize it and put it in the middle of the screen so again this is how glittering generalities works ingon ana gid sila gina 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 post gid nila og dagko kayo ang ilahang mga words the powerful words that they use to convince their consumers that this is the best option for them Okay, so uh, let's move on uh, to the third. And again, that is general generalities. So next, let's move on to the third um, propaganda technique or device, which is the plain folks. Now, this is the most common one and we are most familiar of. So uh, plain folks, uh, this, uh, this is a propaganda technique wherein this idea product or person is associated with normal everyday people and activities speakers attempt to convince their audience that they and their ideas are of of the people and then this device is used to show how normal they they or their product is by comparing it to everyday events and places so what they do and what again this is the most common one that we see in propagandas or ads that we see in television or social media or during um kanang uh kanang politics season this is what we normally see kanang people advertising their services or advertising their products nga it is for the people nya kanang normal people can relate to their products so even though dagko na kay nga mga company even though um mga, we we know that these uh, the owners of these businesses or products are really rich they still uh, make us believe nga kanang their product is for the people and that we can relate to them okay so here's an example of what plain folks looks like here the electric fan is assembled for you to feel the ambience of nature. Feel the breeze of natural air within the corners of your home. So here, yun sa siya pag relate to a normal person. So here, feel the breeze of natural air within the corners of your home. So gina direct yun nila sa mga tao, sa mga balay, sa mga tao. 
and this is just an electric fan, di ba? We know that the owners of the electric fan, um, uh, probably we don't know, but I'm sure they are ri uh, rich people and that um, their rooms are not, um, are, are probably not utilizing electric fans but are using air-conditioned um, air conditioned devices. So, but they are looking for a way to sell their electric fans by relating it to people who uses electric fun like us. And again, where do we use our electric funds in our homes? So, ingon sila mag advertise when they use um, plain folks device. Uh, here's another example. It's a picture example. And again, just like I mentioned earlier, it, this is very famous or this is a very famous technique during politics season. So uh, we have here two pictures. From the left, we can see Mar Rojas advertising himself as Mr. Mr. Palenque. And we also have uh, on the right, we have uh, Erap, which is advertising himself as uh era para sa mahirap so you can interpret uh those pictures uh whatever you want but um yeah they are again called or they belong in the category of plain folks because again they are um advertising themselves as people who are uh, uh, they are advertising themselves as normal people when in fact we are, we know that they are not just normal poor people they are rich people who can afford who can afford a lot of things a lot of um, products or whatnot but um, they are advertising themselves as common people or as uh, poor people so yeah that and again that is how plain folks work. Now, let's have another example. Again, this is a video example of what plain folks looks like. I'm not sure if you guys have already seen this because you guys are still very young. But when I was young, uh, this is the ad that well, that really struck to me or that really uh, stuck into my head up until now, actually, because the song is really catchy. But uh, here's the video. This is still a video that was really famous during the politics season. Nakaligaw ka na ba sa dagat ng basura? Nagpasko ka na ba sa gitna ng kalsada? Nagtanong namin, tuloy ka ba ang isa sa amin? Kailangan mo na ba mapapag-aral ka niya? Tutulungan tayo para magkatrabaho At ang kanyang plano'y magkabay tayo Sibila ang tunay na mahirap Sibila ang tunay na may malasakit Sibila ang may kakayahan At gumawa ng sariling pangalan There. And again, that's a video from way, way back. Um, it's for a, again, um, Manny Villar um, advertising himself as a man, as a common man for the people. And <laughs> um, for me, plain folks, you guys when they said, um, si, si Villar ang tunay na mahirap. So, dira na part. <laughs> So we know that this person is really, 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 really rich, and he's advertising himself as the true Mahira, whatever that means. But <laughs> moving forward, we can now proceed to the next uh, device in propaganda, which is the bandwagon device or technique. So the bandwagon technique is where uh, is a uh, is a device that aims to persuade people to do a certain thing because many other people are doing it. So implication is that you must join in order for you to fit in. Again, joining the bandwagon. So again, it aims to persuading people to do a certain thing because many other people are doing it. So ma since majority are doing it, mura gina, gina influence pud mo sa, sa kana nga organization or company to do the service, uh, to enroll in the service or to purchase that item because a lot of people have been doing it. So uh, here's an example. So we have here uh, join join an educational trip to art in the city buy two tickets and get one for free 
join thousands of learners who have appreciated the beauty of art in their lives. So what are you waiting for? It's worth the experience. So, na, di ba, you can see nga ka ng ginakuan nila nga thousands of learners have already subscribed to this service. So what are you waiting for? Come, join us now. <laughs> Hingunan na ang ilang dating. So, it's kind of sketchy, but yes, hingunan na ang yun. And that is how, um, what do you call this? It, that is how the bandwagon works. Okay, so um, we have another example under bandwagon. We also have uh, one or two pictures from McDonald's and from Coca-Cola. So uh, McDonald's, ang ilahang advertisement is McDonald's hamburgers. Over 99 billion served. So daghan na kuno kaayo and almost 99 billion, that's like... Um, a lot of people already. So, marag, kung wala pa kakatilaw sa ilahang burgers, it's like, what are you doing? Uh, where Have you been living under a rock? Or, when you say living under a rock, mura ka ganang, unsam ka, wala kay gawas-gawas? Or, ganong nabiaan naman ka sa panahon? Ganong pa makakatilaw ani? So, that's how, um, that's what they're advertising. Yung na na. Now, next is, we have uh, an ad from Coca-Cola. The drink that everybody knows. Oh, <laughs> so ingon sila nga. Every if uh, you do not know what Coca Cola is, then you are not, you are not in, or you are not, you are nobody. So ingon ana ilhangi na ingon. So what are you waiting for? Drink Coca Cola, eat McDonald's hamburger. So ingon ana siya ilhang way of advertising. So again, we also have another video example for. Um, bandwagon technique. So let's watch. Oh, here's another picture. Damn, we have two pictures, and again, bandwagon. This is really um, rampant in um, the most recent generations right now. Um, we have. I'm not sure if you guys have uh, have seen some of these, but uh, these are two famous challenges that were uh, famous before. Uh, the the one on the left is the ice bucket challenge where everyone in the internet um kanang nagkuan sila nagyabo sila og bucket full of ice or uh yeah bucket full of ice and then gina gina challenge nila other people as well into doing it so yeah ano sila and again, this is bandwagon because um, since everyone is doing it, everyone is also compelled to do it for them to fit in or in order for them to fit in. Now, another thing is on the right side, makakita mo, <laughs> it's a 100 layer of face mask. So this is this was also a trend before wherein they are applying 100 layers of whatever products they can see on their face, on their nails, or whatever. And then after reaching 100, they would peel it off like this. It's, it looks really painful, <laughs> but um, I'm not sure why this even went viral, but again, Ben Wagon. So since nag trend man siya, a lot of people also followed. And that's again another example of propaganda. So uh, we have another example. Again, this is already the video example. Uh, this is from Old Navy. All right, first day of school, Hunter. Remember to raise your hand in class so they see those cufflinks. I look like our lawyer. Exactly. Mom. No, darling, I have this. Mom. Where did you get these looks? Old Navy? The Navy. It's the Navy. Old Navy, Mom. Could you turn around for us? May we see the back? Mom, please. Hunter, Mom. Hunter, Mommy's speaking. Mom, Hunter. Hunter. It's my first Hunter, day. let Mommy handle this. And how much for the denims? Eight dollars. Eight dollars? This sure was four bucks. Uh-huh. And you do know that children who lie go to prison. Right, Hunter? And does there happen to be any sort of a sale? Yeah, all kids stuff is up to 60% off. You're going to be late today, Hunter. We're going to Old Navy. Okay, funny kayo ang baby, no? Kaya, <laughs> na-stress kita si Eang Mama. 
<laughs> but um, uh, it's also pretty obvious that I am having fun in this particular um, presentation. I really did take my time to uh, look for videos that would uh, really fit into our discussion for today. And I really had fun uh, making the presentation. And I'm also having fun right now uh, discussing the topic to you guys. So I hope you guys are also having fun. But so again, this is... Uh, part or this is uh, this video is in uh, is under the category of bandwagon why is because um in order for him to fit in to the uh, because diba ang yahangi solo ge medyo formal ra kaayo and it looks like uh, he looks like their lawyer so in uh, why can he not just dress like the majority of the students in his class like because they look cool Para nila, they look cool. And um, since majority of the people are wearing those kinds of clothes, his mother decided to purchase uh, to purchase and join the majority of the people. Or again, joining the bandwagon. So yeah, that is again the bandwagon uh, propaganda or propaganda device or technique. 